Berlin, home to the Brandenburg Gate, the Berlin Wall, Checkpoint Charlie, and the world's largest collection of zoological animals. It was also the pickup destination for the JCS team as they set off on a European road trip to Germany's capital to collect two Amma tigers, bring them back to the UK, and drop them at their new home at Dartmoor Zoo. Before getting started on the adventure, the team washed out and checked the crates to ensure that there would be no issues whilst transport was happening and that they were okay to have tigers in. Once the crates were ready and loaded, it was time to hit the road. The first part of the drive saw the team head to Harwich to fetch an overnight ferry to Hook of Holland. Once at the ferry port, the vehicles were scanned as well as the driver's records checked to ensure nothing illegal was potentially being smuggled. This is normal procedure for all drivers who use ferries. Following the checks, the vehicles were loaded onto the boat and it was time to get some sleep for the early start the next morning. At 5am, the ferry had arrived at the docks, the vehicles were unloaded and it was onwards 7 hours to Berlin. Well, that's what it was supposed to be anyway. However, Germany appeared to be having a national close our robes day, which added another 4 hours onto the team's journey time. Despite this, the team powered on, trying to get to the zoo where they would be staying in the on-site accommodation as quickly as they could. The delays, however, were proving to be frustrating. Finally, after 11 hours, the team arrived at Tierpark Berlin, or East Berlin Zoo, where they could relax for the night, taking in the park, its vast animal collection, and the city over the next couple of days. Move day saw an early start as the zoo wanted the tigers well on their way to their new home by the time Tier Park opened to the general public. Due to the crate size for the journey, the big cats had to be transferred between the crates the zoo had and the transportation crates as the moving crates were too big for the behind the scenes area in the big cat house. The tigers, two young Amurs, a male called Dragan and a female called Alicia were loaded into the zoo's crates and then the travel crates as quickly as possible before being secured into the van for their epic road trip ahead. Just like the zoo had planned, the JCS team were on the road with their big cat cargo before the zoo's opening time and making their way back to the ferry port in Holland. Again, despite lots of delays on the road, the team made it back to the port in time for the ferry where they and the tigers would spend the night. The ferry they were travelling on was the world's largest and, once on board, the vans were powered up to ensure the right temperature overnight for the cats as everyone settled in for some sleep. It was another 5am start for the team as they arrived back on British soil and once through customs with their wild cargo, they headed straight for the motorways and Dartmoor. Thankfully, there wasn't the issues with the traffic on the final leg of the journey like they'd seen on the mainland continent, so we were at Dartmoor around lunchtime. Once there, the Dartmoor team took over as they unloaded the cats from the vans and let them into their new enclosures. Despite the long journey, the tigers settled into their life in their new enclosure very quickly and seemed to relax as they took in their new home in the Devon countryside. And with that, the European adventure drew to a close as the JCS team headed back to their headquarters at Heathrow and began to prepare for the next wildlife cargo moves and adventures.